This recipe comes from this cookbook that my high school, uh, the high school that I went to put out back in 2000. It's been a recipe that I just have been using for years. It always turns out so good. The only changes that I make to this is instead of raisins, I do um, milk chocolate chips. I think that's it. <laughs> that's the only substitution. Not a raisin gal. So one batch is already in the oven over there, there. <laughs> Now I'm gonna roll up some more cookies, get them ready on a pan, bake all these babies up. I've been baking quite a bit while in social distancing mode. <laughs> I feel like it's a very therapeutic activity. It passes time well, and then everyone gets to enjoy the goodies once I'm done. And voila. <laughs> My hands are gross. during this time is making sure that I am getting ready for the day. Doing my makeup, doing my hair, getting into a outfit that isn't pajamas. I feel like that has been something even just during my working from home journey in general has been something I, I find really helpful for getting me into a different headspace. So that has been a tool that I've really been using during this time. <music> been really helpful the last couple of weeks is making sure that my weekdays feel different than my weekends so on the weekday from nine to five ish i'm usually working on um, stuff related to youtube uh creating content whether that's videos uh editing photos taking photos like all of the stuff that i do for all of this all the things that you follow me on that's what i focus on during the weekday working hours and on the weekend now more than ever i don't pick up work because i don't want my monday to friday to feel like a saturday and sunday and it's easy for them to all blend together when you are staying home all the time so on saturdays and sundays that's when I do like nothing. <laughs> I watch my TV shows. Uh, I recently got Animal Crossing, so that has taken over my life. And I reserve like the, the binging of those things for the weekend because then it feels like, oh yeah, I'm in a lazier state. So this feels like a Saturday and Sunday. And that, that's been helping a lot. And I think creating structure like that, structure in general during a time like this is really important. Having a morning routine, having a night routine, going through these steps to kind of um just like i said create systems so that you just don't feel like you're waking up each day with nothing to do and endless possibilities because that's maybe fun for a few days but that gets really emotionally draining I shared a quote on instagram the other day that said it's okay not to be productive one thing i did find that as someone who's self-employed was that i was feeling pressure to be taking advantage of this time and 
working like extra hard because oh this is an opportunity if I'm staying at home all the time this is an opportunity for me to really like push certain projects forward and um even though I am working and I am working on some of those projects right now I had to take a step back from that headspace because it was making me anxious to be putting that much pressure on myself especially because this is not a normal situation being home all the time is affecting me mentally um, not being able to see my friends um, I'm able to see my family but like there are other family members my cousins my aunts my uncles I can't see them so that's hard there's also like a pandemic we're dealing with so all in all like add that all together and that is gonna affect my headspace and my my motivation levels and I don't want to be adding pressure on myself when understandably this is a tough time so I'm, I'm trying to keep that in mind not sure if that makes any sense but yeah giving myself permission to not be productive all the time is something I'm embracing I also think it's great to like prioritize things that you enjoy so or that are fun because I feel like we could all use a little bit of that right now I think today I am going to make sure I do something just for fun um during the day because why not right geez my hair really needs to be done <laughs> this is what it looks like when it air air dries I took a shower last night it's like wavy but just not wavy in a pretty way that I can just get away with not doing it back to my hometown I had no idea that I was going to be spending uh, weeks here so I literally just brought some makeup items my all my editing gear and like a few jeans <laughs> so I didn't bring any clothes thankfully I have stuff here but not a ton so I have been wearing the same stuff over and over and over again <laughs> honestly not the worst problem at all to be having but yeah I just find it funny that of all the the weekends that I come home I packed the lightest the weekend that I was gonna come home for weeks <laughs> I think I even posted on Instagram that weekend when I had come back saying, oh my goodness, I'm so proud of myself for packing nothing on this trip home. And that really backfired. So I question whether for the rest of my life I will always be an overpacker because of what happened on this trip home. I've been using lately the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I used this years ago and really loved it. Um, but Benefit actually sent me this uh, and a few other goodies, including this Gimme Brow gel and I've really been loving them. My eyebrows really easy to do because this is tinted and obviously like mascara it just does like wonders for the eyes so um these these buddies have been a fun time. They don't be mean. Matthew. I know mine doesn't look like that, but it's creative interpretation. <laughs> In other words, try it. No. <laughs> Can I fish a bit on your animal bottom? Mm -hmm. Make me money. This is what the final result is. Could be better, but I haven't painted in a really long time and I'm, I'm pretty proud. It's not horrible. 
Now I have to clean all of this and I am not looking forward to that. <laughs> Nothing on the hands. Yes. Get over here. Do what must be done. Do not hesitate. <laughs> Show no mess. <laughs> no idea what that is. Lay it out. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. Take it, take it, take I it. Like, uh, We're not selling that. Is that a phone yeah. yeah. There we go. Woo! Service. Go talk to Tom. Oh my god, that's so painful. That's so five hundred and forty eight thousand I mean, pounds. You're you're done paying. And then boom, one room extension. That's one room and we're paying five hundred. What kind of scam is Tom running? <laughs> Okay, so the day has come for me to finally make Dalgona coffee, and I have been seeing this trending everywhere on the internet, especially TikTok. So I have a lot of time on my hands because it seems like an incredibly tedious way to make coffee. I feel like I have to, I have to do it now. I did about 30 seconds of research, so I think I'm good to go. Uh, it doesn't seem too complicated, but I guess we'll see. Two tablespoons of instant coffee. It does that? And you whip it and it does that. And then you're supposed to put milk, hold on, let me get the oat milk out. And then top it with that and you stir it together and it creates like this really nice coffee apparently. what I have so far. I'm um, gonna give it a nice little stir. It's pretty good. Really? It's the oat milk that I'm like just getting used to, but it's like an, a, a cold coffee. Is it worth that? I'm not sure, but it was fun. <laughs> you say so. I whipped coffee. I've never done that before. It is definitely really creamy though. I was able to kill about 10 minutes of my life, so for that alone, definitely worth trying out. Not entirely pleased about this cleanup situation now, but it's fine. Sacrifices have to be made sometimes. <laughs> I'm about to start a little mini reading session this morning and this book looks so cute that I have to share it. Uh, this is the one I'm gonna be starting. It's called Love Lettering by Kate Claiborne. When I was at the bookstore, I was kind of roped in by this title and the cover. Um, a, because I saw like a little bit of a city skyline and also love lettering. And I'm like, lettering, calligraphy, journaling, seems like my cup of tea. And then I read the back and the main character designs custom journals for her New York City clientele. What? I'm gonna have a link to this below. Just even reading the first paragraph on the first chapter, I already know this is gonna be my type of book. On Sunday, I work in sans serif. Boldface for all the headers because that's what the client wants. All caps, not because she's into shouting. At least, I don't think. Though one time I saw her husband give their toddler a drink of his coffee and the look she gave him probably made all his beard hairs fall out within 12 to 24 hours. No, I think it's because she doesn't like anything falling below the descender line. She wants it all on the level, no distraction, nothing that'll disrupt her focus or pull her eye away. This is the kind of stuff I'm living for. I want to hear all about fonts for days. I love talking about fonts. I was actually planning though on reading a different book. I had ordered it online and I think, I have no idea where this book is. 
I'm supposed to be here today. Has not updated shipping. Sad, but the book is called Imagine Me by Tahara Mafi. It just came out. It's the last installment to a series that, uh, another series that I read back in high school to the point where this, these were the other books in the series, some of them. Um, and this was what the first book originally looked like. This is the cover before they did the cover changes. And I was looking at this book just to kind of get a sense of when I started reading this series. And the, the copyright is for 2011. So for nine years, I've been immersed in this series and it's gonna come to an end. Between this series and uh, reading Cassandra Clare books recently, I've just been feeling really nostalgic because these are like the, the kinds of books I read all the time um, in high school. So it, it feels odd to be revisiting them. It also feels fitting them to be able to finish the series like in my childhood bedroom where I finished many of these books. So that'll be good, but I'm still waiting on that to come in the mail. If you want to follow along with my reading, you can follow me on Goodreads. It'll be linked down below. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a book video, maybe one like about books that I've read recently. So if that is something you're interested please let me know if there are any other book related videos you want to see let me know as well or any other videos in general don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because that will give you a little bloop a little alert that sounds a lot better than bloop whenever i upload a new video so you won't miss any of them and i just hope you guys are staying safe that you're doing what you can to be in a healthy headspace right now. I know this is um, a period that even I like go through my moments of feeling the magnitude of what's going on, but I do find keeping myself distracted and, and busy really helpful. So hopefully, if nothing else, this video just kind of gave you something to distract yourself with. I'm gonna wrap things up here. I will see you all very soon with a new video, and until then, 